All right, guys and girls in the snow dog world and the ice fishing world, um, I decided to take a Harbor Freight trailer that I had and I gave $125 for this trailer. It hardly ever been used, but I decided to put some new wheels and tires on it today. And uh, so I bought two new wheels and tires combo at Harbor Freight, put the spare and a lug wrench on top of here. I also bought a swivel jack so I can uh, winch it up and down, raise and lower it on a ball hitch. Anyway, I took a jet sled and I made myself a salt shield for my snow dog. So here's the jet sled. I just never use this jet sled. And just use some steel from local Menards. I think those are four or five bucks each side for the steel. Um, I've got ramps on here, six foot ramps. What I do with the ramps is I uh, put a uh, hitch pin and cable into the ramp so I don't have to worry about uh, inadvertently this thing ever coming off because I also though, do have a, as you can see, it can't come off. When I get back here, I'll show you how I've got that. The two uh, snow dog sleds winched down on top of that. So anyway, I put tie downs on here. Um, I put my tie downs extremely close to the machine, the snow dog, so that the, the winching with the uh, tie downs wouldn't interfere with my cover. I bought a cover from um, Menards. Here's the cover in case you want to buy it. Backyard Creations, numbers 259-7465. Extremely durable. It's called a four burner griddle cover. Very durable. It's real high density denier fabric. Um, this is a uh, moving blanket I bought at Menards also to put on top of the cover once I've got the uh, cover on the snow dog so that it would make the, the uh, otter sled fit extremely snug on there. And here's a really beautiful thing about it too, is look how this otter sled on top, here's the otter sled, fits snug down inside the jet sled. Can't get any salt up here. Here's my rod box. I've got a rod box here also protecting the side of the uh, jet sled. There's really just no way for salt to get up in there at all. So you've got a snow dog here, B13 Sport, the new white ones, 2022, haven't even ran it yet with the uh, white plastic shells on the outside of it. Then I've got the denier cover, grill cover on top of that. Then I've got the moving blanket on top of that. Put this uh, otter sled on top of that. It just fits nice and snug. I'm not damaging anything whatsoever. Snow dog is not taking any abuse whatsoever. The dimensions on this otter sled, if you're looking to buy this otter sled, the otter sled is 75 inches. This is the outside measurement, 75 inches by 38 inches so 75 inches long outside measurements by 38 inches wide all right now i got two jet sled or not excuse me got two snow dog sleds here i got a snow dog bench seat for my wife and dog to ride in um i've got the hitches in there i've got the otter pivot swivel hitch inside of here i've got two slush um for cleaning out your holes for ice fishing in there I've got my auger pinned between the snow dog and the two sleds. I've got my shelter here protected up in there in the salt shield. Once again, you can see how I've uh, taken the board, this, the ramp board, and all I did is just put a cable through it, through the metal ramp of the ramp board. I've got two ramps, two six foot ramps. Here's one, and there's one on the other side just identical to it. I like these ramp boards because you could come back from the lake and the shoreline could be shot or something. You've got to get through a little bit of open water to get back onto dry land. So I've always got 12 foot of board with me. If I put them end to end, I could straddle that with a snow dog and run it across there. Um, this thing's tied down extremely well. Nothing can fall off. $125 trailer, jet sled I wasn't using anyway and just can't be happier than the way the otter sled sits on top of it. The otter sled will haul all of our gear. We take a lot of stuff out there. This is our uh, 
I'll show you what else I did here. Uh, it's going to be pretty handy. I've always done this anyway, but I just wanted to show you what I do. Here's my uh, Garmin Live Scope. And got a tote that it fits in. I laid pipe foam down the bottom of that. So as you're banging across the ice, your gear takes a lot of abuse. And that pipe foam's a nice insulator. Give it a softened cush, cushion. And we haul finicky foolers, which are tip downs. Um, we haul about 10 custom ice rods out there. Um, we also use um, Markham sonars, LX5s. We also have a 625 SD Markham camera for scouting underneath the water. Anyway, this is our setup for taking that snow dog out. You have to mine with me on our messy garage. I just bought this house three weeks ago, I guess four weeks ago. And we've been working on the properties. We've got a couple of these houses here. And we're in La Crosse, Wisconsin, running a couple of Airbnbs up here. And anyway, this is our setup. I'll give you one last look around in case you just want to catch anything. Feel free to put a comment. Any questions or anything? Just works solid. The uh, salt shield is just rock solid on there. See, it just can't move. Works excellent. Look at that sled, that otter sled just tucked down in there. Use tie downs. That's all there is to it. I'll have a part two and I'll show you how I take everything off of the trailer so you can see what it all looks like as I disassemble it and take everything off. And here's another story for you. Sooner or later, you guys are going to be hearing about diesel heaters. I've had this for four weeks in this new garage of ours. I'm running a uh, power supply uh, converter that takes your 110 voltage from the house, turns it down to 12 volt. This thing has cost me $4 a day to run 24 hours wide open, and I'm able to bring my outside inside temperature in this uninsulated garage that I haven't had a chance to insulate or anything, just bought this place. And I'm dry, bringing the temperature inside my garage 40 degrees warmer than the outside temp for $4 a day running this diesel heater. Can't say enough about it. Just impressive to beat heck. And Maggie, do you like it? Do you like the heater? You love being a shop dog, don't you? All right, everybody. Happy New Year to you. And uh, I'll have a part two to this so you can see what it looks like as I take everything off.